we take so much care of our body. Most of us take a shower at least once a day. You know, most of us uh, also take care of our teeth. Usually uh, we brush our teeth usually, what, about once a month? And I hope so, at least. But what do we do for our mind, right? You know, our, we're using our teeth three times a day. We use our body to do everything we need to do. But the mind is constantly running. And maybe you've heard Guru Dev say this, that the quality of your life is dependent upon the state of your mind. So really diving into the practices of sky breath meditation, yoga asana, sahaj samadhi meditation, silence retreats, these will all help to cleanse your mind. And what do I mean by a cleansed mind? Well, a mind that is free of doubt, a mind that is free of uncertainty, a mind that is free of stress and worry. And in that state of mind, we can truly be happy. Because in essence, that is your true nature, happiness. You know, you may think to yourself, well, that's not the case because I'm not happy now. Well, you may not be happy now, but, you know, look at a beautiful young, you know, baby. You know, does the baby enter the world and spend its first few weeks and months and years in a depressed, sad state? Well, healthy baby, no, right? This is our nature to be content and to be happy. And sometimes we can get in a habit of being unhappy. You know, sometimes we even draw attention to it, right? You know, you even look back, let's look back to the kids again. You know, a kid mm, falls on the ground. And if the kid is alone, maybe they brush themselves off and they move on. But if they see the parents are there, well, they know if they start screaming and crying, they'll get more of that attention. And sometimes as adults, well, our behavior isn't too far away from when we were kids. And if we get in the habit of kind of, you know, thriving on that, you know, pity and, you know, people feeling sorry for us or just being in a bad mood all the time, maybe we don't even notice it. Maybe we start to feel down a lot of the time. It becomes a habit. And contentment and just being happy can really take us out of that. The practices can really help you there. It can help you get connected back to your nature. And it can help you, you could say, break out of this habit. Create new neural pathways that will enable you to connect with that happiness that you are that contentment that is within you. Yeah, so you might say to me, well, no, that doesn't resonate with me to just, you know, fake it till I make it, right? Like to put on some kind of fake smile, even though I'm feeling really sad or depressed or I'm feeling furious and I should act very peaceful and calm and, you know, pretend that I'm very content with things. Well, no, no, it's not about that. I mean, Last time I checked, you and I are both human beings. I think so, right? And part of being human is experiencing emotions. However, emotions are supposed to be like a flowing river, right? Every time you stick your foot or your hand in the flowing river, is the water the same? No, the water is constantly changing, constantly moving. So we may feel sad at one time. We may feel angry. We may feel afraid, we may feel happy. These feelings come and go, and although they sometimes can be related to a particular uh, event, often they just simply come in cycles. You know, if I stick you alone in a room and you don't have any contact with anyone and you're just meant to be with your body and your mind for hours on end, you'll notice. Angry feelings will come, happy feelings will come, anxiety might come, sadness might come, joy might come, peace will come. Being able to see beyond the people and the events 
And being able to be a witness to our emotions can help them dissolve. This is the, this is a secret, actually. You know, I mean, neither at home nor at school has anyone really taught us how to manage our mind and emotions. And if you try to fight with your emotions, or if you try to fake your emotions, or if you try to cover them up with positive thoughts and a positive attitude, that's not what we're talking about. Because what's going to happen? They're going to fight back even more. What we're saying is, sure, to be with whatever emotion is there, observe the emotion. And when you do that, what will happen? You'll see that that emotion will flip. That energy will start to rise and you will start to feel better. Sure, what are we used to doing? We're used to running away from our emotions, right? You know, going into the fridge or turning on Netflix or scrolling through social media. Sound familiar to anybody? <laughs> yeah, this is very normal. But how effective has that been for you? It takes courage to be able to face your emotions and just be with them. And you'll notice that they will flip. And then as time goes by, you'll get more and more connected with that contentment that is within you. 